Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn 7 excellent tips in Microsoft Excel to improve your productivity. This is the list of those 7 tips. I will explain you step by step. The first tip is select visible cells only in Microsoft Excel. So let's say we have a data and we have few hidden rows here. Let me hide these. And now we want to copy only visible cells to a worksheet. So we will select this and we will copy, press Ctrl C and we will paste this here. As I am pasting, you can see we are getting all records, even hidden records. I want to copy only visible cells. Then how we can do it? There are three ways to select visible cells only. The first way is from go to window. So let's go to the home tab and then go to the find and select. And here we have this go to option. Or you can press control G also. It will open the same pop up window. So first what we are going to do, we will select this range here. Now I'll press control G. Then I'll go to the spatial and here we will select visible cells only click on ok now it has selected only visible cells we can copy now ctrl c and we can paste this here now you can see it has copied only visible cells all right the another method to select the visible cell is shortcut key we can select this range and let's press alt semicolon button so alt semicolon Automatically, it will select the visible cells. You can copy and you can paste it. So here you can see it is copying only visible cells. The last and the third option is we can add a button to select the visible cells only in our Excel ribbon. How you can do that? Just right click somewhere on the Excel ribbon and go to the customize the ribbon. Here in this drop down, we will select command not in the ribbon. And now let's scroll it down and you can see this option which is select visible cells only. You can put on any tab. Let's say I'm saying I want to put it on the home tab. I can add a new group here. That new group is available and let's add this to the new group. It is available here. Select visible cells. Click on OK. Now here you can see this select visible cells button is available. If I will select this range, I can simply click on this. It has copied only visible cells. Copy this and you can paste now. Alright. So it is copying only visible cells. So that was the tip number one. Now I will show you the tip number two. Full screen in Excel. Like we do the presentation mode in Microsoft PowerPoint. Basically, we can see our Excel sheet in a full screen mode. To do this, we have multiple options. Definitely, we can use the shortcut keys or we can add the feature here in the Excel ribbon also. So, first, I'll show you how you can add the feature in the Excel ribbon. Just right click, go to the customize ribbon, and we will go to the again the command not in the ribbon. And here we will select the full screen option. So, let's go to the F, it is in the descending order. This is the full screen, toggle full screen view and you can add, let's add the same new group. So you can add it here, click on OK. So the new button is available here for the full screen. You can just click that full screen mode is available. You can press escape key to come back to the normal view. And again, you can click on the full screen. OK, the another way to put the excel screen in the full screen is you can press shift control f1 key from your keyboard so let's put shift control and f1 it is in full screen if you want to come back to the normal screen again you can press control shift f1 yes so using the control shift f1 you can put it in the full screen mode and come back from the full screen mode. so these are two methods now the tip number three is the auto correct. 
Auto correct is very useful when you are typing something and you are making some spelling mistake, it will correct automatically. Apart from that, there are a lot of things which we can do using the autocorrect. Let me give you the example. I'm doing the data entry and I have a keyword which I'm using again and again. Let's say I'm putting here a code. Go to the file and options or you can press Alt O to open the Excel options. Then you can go to the proofing. Here we have autocorrect options and now here you can see we have replace and with and these are the few things you can replace with these signs also. Here what I am doing I am putting a character let's say I am putting this character cap sign and I am saying as soon as I will type the cap sign it should be changed with my code like RC10532132 space dash and just click on add so now we have put this code okay okay now if i'm putting some codes here and i'm typing i don't need to type that code again and again i can simply type that sign and i'll put the space automatically it will give me that code now i can put some my additional code here and again i will type that sign space automatically it will convert that I can put my additional code and then again I can start typing. So that is how you can create your codes and you can make your data entry easy. Let's say here I'm putting R space so automatically it will convert into this icon. Alright, so that is the magic of autocorrect. Now the next tip is workbook statistics. You can get the workbook statistics also to quick view of your workbook and current worksheet it will show you a lot of information there i'll show you to open the workbook statistics you can go to the review tab and you can go to the workbook statistics this is or you can press the shortcut key alt rb so this is workbook statistics here it is showing the current seat information end of the seat is c11 this is the last cell then cells with the data, number of tables, formulas, object and if you have the PY tables it will show that also. Then the workbook details, how many seats are there, cells with the data, number of tables, PY tables, formulas. Okay, if you will put any formula, let's say here I am putting 1 plus 1. It is a formula because we have put the equal to sign there, right. So if again I will go to the workbook statistics there is another shortcut key that is shift control g so let's press shift control g it will open that and now here you can see it is showing one formula we have put one formula there all right quickly you can see the information about the workbook and the current seat all right now the next one is the translator it is very useful when you are working with the multiple language like english spanish or some other language I have put this text in English. Now I want to see what will be the Spanish translation for this text. Go to the review and you can click on translate. You can press the Alt Shift F7 shortcut key or you can press Alt R L. Alt R L. It will open the translator and here the first is the from language it has detected it is english two language you can choose from here let's say i'm putting here spanish now it is showing the translation here if i will click next cell now it is showing the translation for this cell value then this one this one and if you will select multiple and then it will give the translation for the multiple one also you can select and right click you can copy this if you want to put on your excel sheet you can put that here okay so friends that is how you can use the translator it is quite useful if you work with the multiple language in microsoft excel now the next is the custom view Custom view is useful if you want to create the different view 
and if you want to see the data in the different views i'll show you it's like a bookmarks we use in the microsoft power bi let's go to the view and we have the custom view here you can click here to open the custom view or you can press alt wc shortcut key alt wc so we haven't create any view so let's create a view i'll show you how you can create a view so let's say i'm going to the data tab and here what i'm going to do i'm just unhiding the data and uh, i'm putting the zoom size around let's say 150 okay now i'm creating a custom view and let's add a name i'm putting here data 150 percent okay and click on okay so that view is added now now if you want to make it to the 100 percent and you want to hide some rows like this now we quickly want to see that view which we have saved we can go to the view custom view and that view is available here we can say show immediately it will show the same view it is 150 and the rows are not hidden now even we put the filter let's put a filter and here i'm saying so the we are in sales is greater than 50 okay so we have very few records and i'm saying it is should be zoom percent is 85 percent and even let's hide this seat all right let's come to this seat and now i'm going to the view and the custom view and just show me this data 150 view show it will unhide that seat and it will show in the same view we, we put filter we put the zoom at 85 percent it has removed that okay even you can create another view let's create another view wherein we are putting 100 percent here and we are putting a filter for let's say these three employees click on ok and let's create a view custom view and let's add here three employees i'm putting some name okay click on ok now go to the custom view and if you want to see this one click on show it will show that view and if you want to see this view three employee then it will show you that all right friends so that is how you can create the view if you want to show some chart some highlights in your dashboard you can create the highlights view immediately it will show the highlight and then you can jump to the another view it can be useful in the dashboard i'll create the separate video on this topic to show you the more use of the custom views all right friends now i'll show you the last tip which is zoom to selection it's quite useful when you have a lot of data in your excel and uh, you want to read some data then you can select your data and you can go to the view and you can say okay zoom to the selection or you can press the shortcut key also which is all wg all wg immediately it will put in the fit to screen zoom size and it will zoom at your selection if your selection is slightly bigger let's say this is my selection if i will press alt wg now then it is showing in this size to show it on the 100 percent on the ribbon it is available here zoom to the selection and to show it in the 100 percent you can click on the 100 percent and if i will select let's say these three only if i will click it will be more bigger all right and click back to the 100 percent the shortcut key to click back to the 100 percent is alt wg so you can press alt wg to zoom to selection alt wj to go back to the 100 percent all right friends so friends that is how you can quickly use these tips with the shortcut keys and you can quickly see your data you can translate your data you can select the visible cells only you can use the auto corrects all right I hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching